You know what this is? Transparent wood. So let me share with you my vision about the future of our building environment. If the 19th has been the century of steel, the 20th the century of concrete, the 21st century will be the era of wood in the construction industry and building technologies. The city of tomorrow will be built out of wood, dense, and carbon neutral. Why? Because the construction industry is today responsible for 7% of the overall global warming, so to say, the equivalent of 2.5 billion tons of CO2 emissions, more than all cars circulating on Earth. Because global urban population is increasing of 180,000 people every day, according to the United Nations, so we'll have to build the equivalent of 7 times Paris or 23 times Boston in the world every year. Because wood is the most widely available building material on Earth, covering 32% of lands, it's as well the only building material that's 100% renewable as well as carbon neutral. The problem is that wood shows four bold limits. It burns, it rots, it has limited mechanical resistance, and it is opaque. The transparent wood that I have developed overcomes these features, these limits, to make it the most performant material of the 21st century. To do so, I have developed and patented a technology that rebuilds wood at the molecular scale by combining nature and technology. So, you know, as an architect, I have always been fascinated by this relationship between light and materials. One day, I even decided to switch scale and rather design the microscope. So this intuition took me to Harvard, where I worked with the molecular biology department, as well as MIT Media Lab to research on a future building material that would overcome global warming and help making this world a better place for future generations. So with a microscope in one eye and a telescope in the other, I started working on wood and discovered two fascinating features. The first is that wood is essentially made out of air from 60 to 90 percent, with its cellular structure perfectly ordered but empty and ready to be functionalized. Secondly, it holds precious compounds that have been for a long time neglected by the industry, such as lignin, that could be extracted and transformed into green energy. The last part is filling up wood cellular cavities with a bio-based monomer, making it extremely performative. So as a result, wood becomes transparent, waterproof, three times stiffer, and fire retardant. This material could uncover new possibilities in the design industry and uh, trigger the use of bio-based materials over synthetic ones. But the full potential of this material will be unleashed when building skyscrapers. Just imagine. By fusing nature and technology, the Empire State Building of the 21st century could be made out of wood. So, the cradle-to-cradle -cradle technology, uh, so we will deal with it to manage the forest sustainably and uh, by focusing exclusively on low-grade unused wood to transform it into a high-performance uh, uh, wood. Secondly, we will leverage lignin to produce green energy and to reduce the production cost for an extremely cheap, available and green material for the future of our cities. Wood is the most technologically advanced material that we could build with and through this material, I'm looking for this opportunity to unlock nature's potential hiding within the wood grain and yet to be discovered. Thank you very much.